بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وی آر اسٹارٹنگ البقرہ دا سیکنڈ ورس آف دا قرآن اینڈ اٹس ٹاپک رائٹ ناؤ از دا پلگرم اینڈ وار اگینسٹ پرزیکیوشن دس ہیپنڈ ایٹ دا ٹائم آف پروفٹ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دس ہیپنڈ سو وی وار اسٹارٹنگ ان دا پریویس لیکچر دیٹ واٹ آر دا پروسیجرس اباؤٹ پلگرم اینڈ اسپیشلی the questions people ask then god give them the answer further god explained that to start this pilgrim because when prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam established the government in madina then this started a war people of makka started this war against madina and at that time these al baqara words was revealed so it was explained that during this pilgrim if this started war what you should do this so this further explained so let's understand this bismillah rahman rahim in the name of god the most gracious the ever merciful wa min an-nas may yu'jibuka qawluhu fi al-hayat ad-dunya wa yushhidu wa yushhidu allah ala ma fi qalbihi وهو الد الد الخصام واذا تولى سعى في الارض ليفسد فيها ويهلك الحرص والنسل والله لا يحب الفساد فاذا قيل له اتق الله اقذته العزه بالعصم وحسبه جهنم ولا بئس المهاد you have to fight those who stop you from the worship of hajj due to persecution unfortunately you have hypocrites who discuss with you in benefit of this world they even make god witness to the intention of their hearts whereas in fact they are the dead lie dead least among the enemies these hypocrites conduct terrorism in front of you no sooner do they leave you than they hasten to spread hasten to spread disorder in the land destroy crops destroy generations of people and you know that god does not like disorder when they are asked have fear of god you find their inclination towards sin their arrogance arrogance prevent prevents them from doing so therefore sufficient for them is the hell and it is a very evil location so what happened that especially when people of this makkah they started they were planning a war against madina which was the government of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam at that time their partners were hypocrites and they started propaganda so then god explained their attitude and their situation that their objective was just the terrorism they want to do this and destroy crops and hands they want to disorder they want to do this their objective is this one you should avoid this so this is god has explained to the companions that you should avoid these hypocrites propaganda and especially like the people of terrorists who want to do this many people that did it of different tribes they came in night and in madina they tried to destroy their crops also they tried to just to get the benefit of animals and they 
take it then god explain them that you have to avoid this and then you'll have to plan and be prepare that you have to start this war against this terrorism so you can see that in the life of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam during around 8 years 1 to 8 hijri 622 to 629 that immigration many who believers came to medina and settled there but from makka people they started the first war on second hajj which was big war of badr then second year they came again this is war uhud happened then on fifth day this is called the trench the war of trench they also give this terrorism against medina three times they did it from makka and many tribes of other locations they also came there they did it but god victory give to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam then also in from 6 to 8 hijri also happened that from makkah became an agreement that they will not give any war against medina they will not do this this agreement was happened but many other tribes prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam give god's message and they believed it but especially some tribes of jews who happened in khaybar they were planning a war then prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave them an action and this such victory was given in khaybar and jews had to settle in according to the government of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam at the same time people of makka also give some disagreement their leadership of makka and they started war against some believers tribes so that's why prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam they given big action and they give final war with makka and makka was victory happened especially in 8 hijri which is around 630 c and then in the two further year prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave final warning to all the arab tribes which is mentioned in sura tauba which is number 9 verse of the quran it was explained to them and especially prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave the final warning to roman and persian superpowers to them and this happened and at 11 hijri prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was gave this final sermon he did in makka and this was end of his struggle finished but then the companion gave the action against some tribes and also with roman and persian empire and give them a victory from this tajikistan to you can say libya they gave their government was established which in this persecution was finished as a result of that every person become independent and they had they are able to give truth or wrong whatever they want they can accept it so independence was the main objective of this war against persecution then god further explain wa min an nas man yashri nafsahu tiqaa marta billah wallahu rauful rauf bil ibad ya ayyuhalladhina amanu dkhulu fi as-silm kaffatan wala tattabi'u khutuwat ash-shaytan innahu lakum aduwwun mubin fa in zalaltum min ba'di ma ja'atkum al-bayyinat fa'lamu anna Allah azizun hakim hal yanzuruna illa an ya'tiyahum Allah fi zulalin min al 
disbelievers the life of this world has attractions when they are warned for its result they do not pay heed and re- re- ridicule ridicule the believers whereas the careful people about god they shall see them on the day of judgment this is the blessing of the almighty for them and god gives unlimited benefit to these sincere people only so this is a war against shaitan which is an example is given in this pilgrim in the hajj is given to you so we'll have to take care that especially the israelites were unable to see any angels because this is this life is just as an exam we'll have to avoid the ideas of this hypocrites who are the partner of shaitan we'll have to take care of it and we'll have to avoid this one and we'll have to go to the paradise so this is the objective then further god explained kan an-nas ummatan wahidatan fa ba'atha Allahu an-nabiyyina mubashshirina wa munzirina wa anzala ma'ahum al-kitaba bil-haqq liyahkuma bayna an-nas fi ma ikhtalafu fi fa ma ikhtalafa fihi illa alladhina utuhu min ba'di ma jaatuhum al-bayyinatu baghyan baynahum fa hada Allahu alladhina amanu lima ikhtalafu fihi fil min al-haqq bi'iznihi wallahu yahdi man yasha'u ila sirat mustaqim they are present differences among people as a pretext for their hypocrisy <laughs> they should know that the mankind was just a single community then differences surfaced because between them therefore god sent forth prophets as bearers of glad tidings and they give warning against negative attitude with these prophets god sent down his book for decisive truth so that it may settle these differences between people only those differed with hostility against others although it was given to them after very clear signs had come to them therefore god guided by the backing of his grace to those those who believed in the quran in all their differences regarding the truth and god guides whom he intends to the straight path due to their good intention so this is the main focus was our attitude god has explained that humanity all human persons were single community but they started disagreement with them especially on religious matters then god sent prophets to help their problems for negative attitude to avoid them and god also gave his book these books were given to different prophets like abraham musa isa muhammad ali musa salam everyone and the final book is the quran is given to you to give guidance to avoid any shaitan ideas and especially like people due to differences they created different sects you have to avoid you should focus on the quran whatever you understand you should work according to it and whatever you don't understand the meaning of this you should see the other translation of this and whatever you 
get understand you should follow it so this is your responsibility and that's it then god further explain am hasidtum an tadkhulul jannata walamma ya'tikum masalul ladina khalaw min qablikum massathumul ba'sa'u wad darra'u wa zulzilu hatta yaqula yaqula rasulu wal ladina amanu ma'ad ma'ahu mata nasrullah alla inna nasrullah qareeb so people do you suppose that you would go to paradise even though you have not encountered the circumstances which were encountered by people before you to whom messengers were similar sent affliction and hardships they fell them and so shaken were they they that the prophet and the companions who were with him all cried out when shall the help of god turn up turn up at that time the glad tidings were given listen god's help in near to you especially all the prophets their companions had especially an examples happened in this life examples is war financial losses and problems then propaganda this was a psychological torture then physical and psychological tortures were there and people wanted to become psychological slavery they tried to this so all these happened and also this happened today as well so this is also an example of exam that such happen in this life because we have to continuously believe in the god and this happened for some time then the solutions were resolved right now you might see wars terrorism financial problems happens to every person this happen and this is just a design of examples so god has explained that to qualify for paradise you will have to take care especially in these problems you will have to continuously improve your relation with god and god will resolve after some time this happen with every person so god explain during prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam a lot of wars happened like badr ohod french khaybar taif then tabuk then roman and persian empires their wars continuously with companions happened so this was just an example that every person will have a problems in this life this is just that we continuously improve our relation with god that's our exam so we'll have to avoid this then god further explain further yes aluna ka maza yunfiquna qul ma anfaqtum min khairin falil walidayn wal aqrabin wal yatama wal masakin wa ibn sabil wa ma yaf'alu min khairin fa inna allah bihi alim kutiba alaykum al qital wa huwa karhul lakum wa asa an takrahum shay'an wa huwa khairul lakum wa asa an yuhibbu shay'an wa huwa sharrul lakum wallahu ya'lamu wa antum la ta'lamun they ask you about what they should spend tell them whatever you spend is for your parents relatives orphans destitute and the wayfarer of your society therefore spend according to your capacity and rest assured 
whatever good you do will never go waste because god is fully aware of it warfare is ordained for you and it is also displeasing to you like it is displeasing for you to spend in the way of god even though it is very much possible that you may dislike to think even tough it is good for you and it is very much possible that you like or think think even tough it is bad for you and in reality god knows but you have no knowledge for many such things so it was the question of companions that how we should spend our income so then god them that you should pay to your parents relatives orphans destitute and wayfarer especially the people who had problems you have to give this especially at the time of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam such problem was that a lot of people of other tribes who believe in god to avoid their persecution they came to medina so that's why you have to spend on that and for us it is still continuously this is available to us whatever our income is whatever amount is we'll have to pay to our parents our family and all other persons who are reliable persons who are in problems you have to help them that's it and for companions it was that such war will be there because the persecution was there and still you have to continuously give relation with god so this was the responsibility the same is valid to us because wars of terrorism is with us and for this time still we have to continuously give relation with god according to it even if we are killed out even if we have financial problems we'll have to still give relation with the god this is the responsibility of god because we have to qualify for go to the paradise then god further explain especially during this war against persecution during this pilgrim god further explained that yasaluna ka an ash-shahr al-haram qital fihi qul qital fihi kabir wa sadd an sabil Allah wa kaf wa kufr bihi wal masjid al-haram wa ikhraj ahlihi minhu akbar 'inda Allah wal fitnatu akbar min al-qatl wa la yazaluna yuqatilunakum hatta yaruddukum an dinikum in istata'u wa man yartadid minkum an dinihi fayamut fa huwa kafir faulaika habitat a'maluhum fi dunya wal akhirati wa ulaika ashabun nari hum fiha khalidu inna alladhina amanu wal ladhina hajaru wa jahadu fi sabil Allah ulaika yarjuna rahmat Allah wallahu ghafurur rahim they ask you of warfare in the second months second months are four months of pilgrim tell them warfare warfare is this month is a grave offense but their persecution from the path of god to deny him and to stop people from going to the sacred mosque and the expel its faithful people is far more grave in his sight to observe oppress to oppress and force people to give up their religion is more grievous than blood bloodshed you should know that these people against whom you have been directed to fight 
have decided between themselves that they will not leave to fight against you until if it is possible for them to force you to renounce your faith and whoever of you <coughs> resents and dies in a state of disbelief should know that it is such people whose deeds shall bear no fruit in this world and in the hereafter such people shall be the life of the fire wherein they shall abide forever on the other hand those who fully adhere to faith and those who migrated from the their land and the fought for the cause of god may hope for god's mercy because god is most forgiving and ever merciful actually this question was hypocrites created this question just as a propaganda that that look god said that this war for this four months is not allowed but you are giving this war with this people of makka then god explained that persecution was the biggest issue and god was to avoid this persecution so therefore there is no problem and to the companions it is clear that there is no problem to give war for such people of terrorism who wanted this persecution so that's why there is no problem for them do it and then god explain that all the faithful person who came back and give migration and go to medina to avoid persecution so god give a lot of benefit to them and for terrorism this fire this penalty will be there still they get some benefit in this world financially <laughs> but this financial life finished after some days and all the losses will go in the hereafter be care so this is at this topic this persecution is finished whatever questions are there please feel free to ask to me send to me i will explain you after that lecture next lecture we will discuss especially especially the social sciences what are the law of god of the sharia is about that how our social activities work in that way so this will be our next lecture thanks a lot jazakallah khair wa hasan al jazakallah